Yes. So they also does give them exercise. But they give up their other hobbies. Well, that could be. The purpose of this debate is to look at the topic from varying points of view, where the affirmative or proposition side, which agrees with today's resolution that esports are too intense. We have the blue. I'm presenting the argument for the proposition side that esports are too many reasons are parents pushing their children, spending too much money, sending them too high, and kids getting many can wear appropriate protective equipment such as pads, helmets, mouthpieces, face guards. I broke my arm on a piece that was only a few inches high and fell off. And that's not a youth sport. But who knows what could actually happen in the youth sport? An elite athlete can be expensive. A lot of Parents pay for their kids to join top travel teams and hire personal coaches. For example, in the article, The Advantages of Playing Multiple Sports at a Young Age, it states that kids will develop important skills like problem solving, communication, teamwork, and working independently, which are all highly valued attributes. Many people worry that young athletes and their parents are setting up the obstacle. I play soccer and I think it is entertaining because I get to run around and kick the ball. Passion Legacy Foundation. Exposure data shows that, that kids as young as nine, nine years old are getting hit in the head and that can lead to serious damage to the brain. Both risks and rewards of youth sports says when you play a sport, you use many muscles at a time which increases brain activity. Well, it says in fact, seven out of 10 kids who play organized, organized sport quit by age three. Standing up on the seesaw and that's how you broke your arm. So you weren't being safe. Fall hitting your head? Well, in baseball, you would usually have a helmet. Yeah. I missed cage on the helmet. Yeah. 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 Yeah.